Oh, and welcome my friend and then I am planning to give you information that how to replace this Mercedes-Benz diesel engine's glove plug. And this is really important starting device and we have to work very carefully with this glove plug because it broken and cuts really easily and then we have really bad mess in our engine and that's we have to work really carefully and we need some specific tools and let's look next my glow plug I take it in my hand this glow plug okay and here we have really this diesel engine's glow plug and this is similar part than like in spark plug in gasoline engine but in diesel engines we need this glow plug and this part works so that when we rotate our ignition key then this part this area heat ups about 300 or 400 celsius heat that area and it makes our this piston inside area hot and then when we start the key rotate the starter then engines start to run in diesel engines really interesting and this is really glow plug and this is from Mercedes-Benz car and there we can see these product codes in that area in this glow plug and when we replace this glow plug this is the really critical thing because we can we can cut and broke this glow plug to this cylinder head and block and it is really catastrophe because then this part in here or that part is cut and and big area in this glow plug is inside in our cylinder this head and this that's we have to open these glow plugs really carefully and firstly we need for that opening we can see that there is normal this eight millimeter socket but actually we need like in this mercedes-benz car we need this longer and very thin eight millimeter socket and like in my case i have i have to cut and actually take material away in this outer area because otherwise i couldn't install this socket in this cylinder head hole and that's we need firstly just specific this glow, glow plug socket what fits in this glow plug in that way and then second thing this is like first thing that we have to be just specific socket look this is very long like two inches six centimeters is this length in here and we need this long plug and, and this socket socket long socket and then the most important thing is that when we open this socket using this my bar and then this friends this is really dangerous and that's always when we open this glow plug we need this torch friends for that opening and there is thing that we have to be maximum force what is only 30 newton meters 30 and this is like opening force and if we have to use more force than 30 newton meters then there's risk that this glow plug cuts in this central area and we have then two parts and we have really bad fiber because most of this glow plug is inside and only this outer part is away in here that like in this area in here what I'm touching and that's when we are opening these glow plugs and we are replacing these we have to do many tricks if this is stuck in my case this was easy to open 
but if we have difficulties to open, we have to install in this glow plug hole in lubricant oil and penetration oil and try to open that glow plug within one day and then second day and, and then we have to wait one week and again add this lubricant grease and this spray in here because if we cut this glow plug it is really catastrophe we have to then take cylinder head away and then we have to machine this hole and it is almost thing that we have to purchase new cylinder head and that's if you have bad starting in your car be really carefully when you open this flow plugs because there is this maximum force this opening force what is only 30 newton meters even in some cars only 20 newton meters and that's we have to use all kind of tricks if we have difficulties to open these glow plugs. And one trick is that some people, when they take this glow plug away, they keep this engine, engine running, and when engine is hot, then they suddenly start to open this. Because if engine is hot, then this glow plug hole is bigger, and this opening is easier. Okay. This is this thing, and then we go to open this my glow plug, glow plug using this torch, friends, and we can see that how this job really happens. Okay, and then we look in this engine area, and here we can see this cars. There is cylinder head, oil cap hat, and now I have also removed this intake manifold and the purpose is that now we can see these glove blocks in here easier and it is also possible to replace these glove block, glove block so that we take this fuel rail in here away and then we can open these glove blocks in here and there is one glove block and in second in here, and let's look closer of those. And now we can see really well in there two of those glow plugs. And firstly, when we start to replace these glow plugs, we have to take out this electric connector. And this electric connector is this part in here, that part, and next, I will take those connectors away. Okay, and for that opening, we can compress these sides in here. There is the sides that I compress these, and, and then I pull out these in this way. But sometimes these connectors, they are so hard to take out that I need pliers. And let's look at how I use pliers next. And there is the second connector. And when I use my pliers, I firstly I need to rotate this connector in the side areas. There are those pressing areas in the side. And then when I carefully press that and pull out this this claw electric connector opens in that way in here and idea is to compress these sides and these can be difficult to open and then it is good to lift these cables like in up in this way and now I remove these cables in up and now these cables are really in here up, and then we can look this glove plug in here. And let's go to look closer. Here we have this glove plug, what I need to next take out. And before of that, we have to clean this inner area. Okay, and for that cleaning, I need some sharp head tool or then compressed air. 
and this area must be totally clean this inner area and we have to clean that and also in here in the second area this is clean and if there is any any dirties I have to do install like in compressed air that this dirties flies away and this one is also nice and looks good looks good and then I can install in here my this socket in inside in there next and here is really my socket and then when I install this my my socket in here this socket must to be go in so deep in here in that way let's continue and when we look that this socket it must to be go in inside in that deep look and then it it must to be to be movable no any heating very easily in there and also that second glow plug in here and in here it goes also nicely excellent and now we open this part in here and in the next step I need a little bit longer these socket bars and my torch friends tool okay, and then we have this critical critical tool this torch friends tool and when we open these glove plugs we have to set up in here force what is 30 newton meters this is like maximum amount of this force what we need for that opening because if we use more force like 50 newton meters there's the scale then this our glow plug can damage and goes pro goes broken and there is this reverse and return this gear switch and using that thing we can use that torch friends tool like opening and closing and now we have critical limit that maximum force is 30 newton meters and if happens so that glow plug opens everything is okay but if not then we have to stop this work and let's go to look that how I open that socket I need a little bit more this longer bars I have in here like one width longer this extra things look this is like there is adapter and this adapter fits in this is my socket in this way nicely and in here I can install next my torch friends tool in here and I will do that next okay, and now I have installed this my socket in better in there and now we can start to open and this opening direction is really in that way and we can look this my scale and especially now there is force for 15 16 in here and I I open and now this glow plug starts to move excellent and now we know that there was only like 16 newton meters that force and now this glow plug opens I can use my fingers and we can look closer this thing and now we can see when I rotate that by my with my hands and soon this glow plug opens easily in here okay and in that way this glow plug it comes out in here very nicely good there is really this glow plug what I take out and then final step is to release this glow plug away in this my socket and now we have take this glow plug away and in same way we have to install this new glow plug back but this is the most critical thing that when we open these glow plugs that we don't damage and cut this glow plug because it is catastrophically this uh, work it is like so bad 
this serviceman ship that if we damage and broke this thing. But now it's fine and using these two things just just suitable socket and torch thread friends we can take these flow plugs away. Okay and then when we install this glow plug back we have to use only 11 newton meters force in this my Mercedes 651 diesel engine type and I have to now set up this my torch friends now there in 11 there are arrows down this is very small amount of force 11 newton meters set okay and now this my torch friends is ready and this was only 11 newton meters this force what we are going to set up next when we install this glow plug back and let's go to look engine area okay and then when i install this glow plug i have to be really sure that this hole is clean because if there is any dirties I have to clean those all dirties away but in my case this is clean and now I install the back and it goes in nicely and then I can rotate that little bit my fingers and then I check that now it takes contact and then I need my this socket okay and there is my socket and firstly I install this my socket in there deeper in that way and then I rotate that more with my fingers and I rotate that so long that this takes like contact in this way and now it takes contact and this is important because now when there's contact next I take this my longer socket and especially this is my torch friends tool and there must to be this force 11 only 11 newton meters and now when I try to I start to tight this my glow plug I install my torch friends in here and now this closing and this torch rotation is in this way start and in this way and now we look that okay and now this my torch friends actually in here it says and let's look amounts okay and now we can see this my torch friends tool there is 10 and now I little bit now my now there is 11 good 11 is in the scale and now we have just right torch in this glow plug and now when we have right 11 this newton meters force in there I can take these glow plugs away in here in that way and final step is to install this electric these connectors back in here and this is easy to install so that I only press that in down in that way and it, it it means makes this click sound okay and this was this way that how to replace glow plugs in Mercedes engine and also in another diesel engines good